Hi, hello everybody. This is uh, for my SNP class. This is uh, how we build a little burglar alarm. And um, before we start, here is the pieces we need. We need a breadboard, a couple of cables, which you fi should find in your in your um, lecture box, uh, a Raspberry Pi, which we used uh, last year too. Then I put in uh, an emitter, which is an infrared emitter an LED and a receiver, which is a dark LED. Then we have two test LEDs, which we need, the red. You can pick any color you like. Um, important is that the LEDs have a long and short leg. The long leg we connect to the positive, the power, if you will, and the short one to the ground. And then we have uh, three transistors, or resistors, I should say, um, uh, two times 330 ohm and I marked them as a little flag here so we don't get them confused you should do the same and I have one 10k ohm here so what we do we're just gonna take the red LED just for testing because um, these other two emitter LED the emitter and transistor are a bit sensitive so we don't want to blow them up we take the 331 plug them into our breadboard like that See, a breadboard here on the top, we're going to have power. On the bottom, we have uh, ground. And uh, you see, I just plug them in here, and it works vertical. So here on the bottom, they're always vertical. They're connected. So for to connect them to power, we're going to use black for ground. You just connect them, depending on which cable you use. Just connect them like this and then we put ground in here on the, on the bottom here and we put ground on the third pin on our pi you can see that here it's basically one two three that's where our ground goes and then we should have a for power we always use red or reddish so same spiel here. We just connect those guys here. I put them into the plus sign on top. And we put this one in the first pin of the right. So, so. And then I use uh, usually another black or blue one to just connect from the plus to the sky here. And that should then make our little LED shine. So that's a good test so we know we we have power we have the leds and we don't want to um, basically mess up with our other leds so what we have to do is build on the other side here a similar thing so here i'm going to use just um, so if you want to be proper we un disconnect this here for a moment and we're going to connect this here to uh, actually we're going to take the 10k ohm Connect it here to plus and 55. Okay. Then we're going to use our other test LED as well. Plug that in here too. And then we do the same setup essentially. Um, if you have a long breadboard like mine, this is not connected on the, on the middle. So you have to kind of bridge this. So we're going to bridge this power. Um, with like you just do put one in here between the 30 oops and then I do the same here on the bottom okay that just bridges the power on the ground and um, then we need to do the same as we did here with a cable plug that in so if we plug our power back in so we should have two LEDs being lit so let me just move this back so you see this. This should light should be less lit than this one, like should be darker because the resistor here is stronger. So okay, so that's good. What I want to do is before we plug in our photoresistors to test them, I like to use this LED here and I put this to the back with another resistor. So one thing you have to do is like keep one left here. We need that for pickup later on. So, important is that this resistor, remember I told you the 
the long leg, short leg. Here we want to use a short leg and connect it to plus. So um, before you do this, unplug the power. Um, make sure they're all aligned. See, I missed one here. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to use another cable here to connect the LED. And the short leg goes in here on the top. And the long leg goes on the bottom for this guy. Okay. And then I bent it like this so because we want to have a beam going between those two. So let me just show you. This side is pretty simple. This side a bit more complicated. Two resistors, two LEDs. So, okay. And then this guy, the clear one. Again, be careful, this one blows up fast. So long leg on positive, meaning on the top, short leg on 